Hello everyone, this is Melissa from Trendline. In this video, I will show you how to upload or import your portfolio onto the platform. First, we will quickly review Trendline's portfolio product before we go into the upload process. With Trendline's portfolio, you can track all your equity and mutual fund holdings across portfolio accounts in one place. Once you've imported your portfolio, you can use our analytical tools to see how your investments are doing and access the detailed portfolio report. To get started, go to Portfolio on the top navigation bar. This is where you can find your portfolio holdings, analyze your portfolio in the performance of individual stocks, review sell transactions, and stay updated on the latest news and events related to your holdings. Now let's look at how you can upload or import your portfolio from a broker account. If you use brokers like Fipesa, Angel1, Fires, Upstocks and Zeroda, importing a portfolio onto Trendline is seamless. You can even import multiple accounts from a single broker. To link your portfolio from any of the supported broker accounts, hover over portfolio on the navigation bar and click on upload portfolio. This will take you to sync portfolio from broker. Choose your broker and you will be prompted to log in with your credentials. I am using an Upstocks account here for the demo. After you have entered the required fields and linked your broker account, your portfolio will appear on the portfolio page. Once your portfolio is uploaded, you are ready to explore different analysis tools and get detailed reports with insights. Your detailed portfolio report is available under the relevant section. You can also sync different broker accounts that our platform supports. You can also add multiple accounts from the same broker. After importing your portfolio, remember that any new transactions won't show up automatically. To include any recent buys or sells, use the Sync Portfolio button. On clicking on Sync Portfolio, you will be prompted to log into your broker account again. If you have multiple accounts linked to your portfolio, make sure you enter the correct client ID while syncing. Once that is done, your portfolio will show your current holdings post the buys or sells. Please note that portfolios sync just once and won't update automatically. If you want to see the updated prices of your holdings, you can use the refresh option. The refresh option uniformly updates the prices of all stocks in your portfolio regardless of whether they were added through broker import or excel import. While using Trendline's portfolio, a few important points to note are Brokers typically provide only the average buy price and the number of stocks or holdings. So the date of import is assumed to be the buy date. This means features that need specific buy and sell dates like portfolio NAV transaction analysis and decision analysis buy and sell won't work accurately. The key point here is that historical portfolio transactions are not available with broker import because brokers don't share this data in the sync method. Also, mutual fund holdings bought through the same broker won't be reflected if you use the broker import section. To get historical transactions and the above details into your portfolio, the Excel import feature is available which we will discuss next. Using the Excel upload option to add historical transactions will also enable you to use advanced tools in our portfolio section like Portfolio NAV and Decision Analysis. Now let's explore the Excel import feature to upload your portfolio. If your broker is not yet supported by Trendline, you will have to use the manual import feature Excel import. You can also use this approach if you want your entire portfolio uploaded including historical transactions. Here's how to do it. In the import portfolio section select Excel import. Next select an account to import into your portfolio or create a new one. Now pick the type of transaction current portfolio, buy transaction or sell transaction. Here I have chosen an account and the current portfolio option. Next, download the Excel template provided. It has three columns with predefined headings. 
Make sure not to modify these headings. The first sheet has all the instructions. In the template, enter the stock name as listed on the PSC or NSE websites or its ISIN code in the first column, followed by the number of shares bought and the average buy price. After you have added your portfolio details, save the Excel file. Finally, upload the file in the Platform's Upload section as shown here. Once the Excel import is complete, you will see the list of imported stocks in your portfolio. As mentioned earlier, buy or sell analysis is not functional for broker imported portfolios. So using the Excel import process, you can upload your buy transactions or sell transactions. This way, you will be able to see the buy or sell analysis, portfolio NAV and other analysis for your portfolio. To upload your buy transactions, select an account to import into your portfolio or create a new one in the Excel import section. Now select buy transactions from the drop down and download the Excel template. The next step is to enter the stock name as listed on the BSC or NSE websites or its ISIN code in the first column followed by the buy date, number of shares bought and the average buy price. Do not change the headers in the Excel file. Save the Excel file after adding your portfolio details. The final step is to upload the file in the upload section as shown here. You will see the list of imported stocks in your portfolio after the Excel import is complete. Similarly, to import your sell transactions, choose sell transactions from the drop down in the Excel import section. Download the template and enter the stock name or its ISIN code, sell date, number of shares sold and the average sell price. Save and upload the file in the upload section. Once the Excel import is complete, you can see the list of stocks in your portfolio. Let's now look at the add stock option to upload your portfolio. If you prefer to manually add stocks, mutual funds or ETFs to your portfolio, use the add stock method. Here's how. On the portfolio page, click Add Stock. The next step is to enter the name of the company, the quantity of shares, price and the transaction date as shown here. You can also choose which portfolio to add it to. Once you have added these details, you will be able to see the stocks or mutual funds in your portfolio. For mutual fund holdings, you will have to manually add them using Add Stock as they are not available in the Broker Import section. Click on Add Stock on the portfolio page. Next, enter all required details including the company name, quantity, price, transaction date and portfolio. Once you have added these details, you will be able to see the mutual funds or ETFs in your portfolio. Alternatively, you can use the Excel import option to add mutual fund holdings to your portfolio. Once you have uploaded your portfolio, you can use various analysis tools available to get an understanding of your portfolio's performance. To view and manage your holdings and to analyze your portfolio, click on your portfolio. Here you can see the stocks in your portfolio, invested amount, profit and loss, day change, percentage, etc. You can filter to see all stocks, all MFs or just the holdings under different broker accounts. You can also view your portfolio breakdown by sector and industry. As you can see, there are various categories and tools at your disposal to understand and manage your portfolio effectively. This video has covered how to import or upload your portfolio on Trendline. Now visit the portfolio section on trendline.com to view, manage and analyze your portfolio holdings. Make the most of what Trendline offers. Thank you for watching. This is Melissa signing off.